Hi guys, I have a little announcement I wanted to share with you. I've been keeping a bit of a secret. Um, I don't have like a ton of stuff to say about it, but I did just want to tell you so some other things make sense. And that is that I am actually transferring to a new school in my district. So I'm still staying in my district. I'm still teaching elementary music. I'm still full time, all of those good things, but I'm going to a new school in the fall. Um, I'm really excited about this change. It's a very different school from the one that I have been at for the past six years. And so I'm excited for the change. It's been really sad leaving my kiddos because um, I've been with them for six years. So I, I, I am music to all of them. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure I told you, I told all of them first, but I want to talk to you a little bit about, you know, just all of those things. So first off, just kind of like how it all came about i will say in next year like january to march ish there's gonna be some blog posts and some videos talking about like finding a job interview tips interview questions um what to wear to interviews like all that kind of stuff um i uh, you know because that's kind of the time when people start thinking about that and are doing those kind of things but just fyi so if you have any specific like questions about new jobs interviewing that kind of stuff send me a message on instagram it's at becca's music room and let me know and i will make sure that i include that information in that like series over there but yeah so i have been at my school for six years it's the only school I've been to. I actually student taught there and then started teaching there in the fall um, and have been there ever since. I We call it an extra fun school. I have loved my kiddos, but it's definitely not an easy place to work. And so as much as I have loved them, there have been some things that have um, continually frustrated me over and over. And so I between like the increasing frustrations and then just, you know, being like, I've been here for six years. I just feel ready for a change and I feel ready for something different and I want to try something new. And so all those things combined made me start thinking about a new school. So I kind of considered it at the end of last year, but I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. Um, and then over the summer, I thought about it a lot and I was like, you know, I think this will be my last year. And then the second week of school, something really irritated me. And I was like, and it was something that kept happening over and over. And I was like, this is going to be the last year. So I've known that the entire school year I have like, literally I have approached this school year that way. Like I have done some, like, you know how you save some of your songs for like certain grade levels that are your favorites. Like, you know, this is my favorite song, but we're going to wait until third grade so that it's new in third grade and you don't use it with little kids. Um, this year I was like, we're going to do them with everybody. All my favorite. We did Vamos a la Mar with like second through fifth. I did, um, Oh, what was the other one I was thinking of? I, now of course I can't remember, but there were a couple of, oh, Kookaburra. I did Kookaburra with like everybody because I was like, we're going to do all of my favorite things. We're going to get in all the great stuff. Knowing that for like the whole year, I've really approached this year as like, I want to make sure that, you know, we leave on a high note. And so I have been just doing all the fun things with my kiddos and it's been great. Um, and then in January, our district had us turn in letters of intent, which is a exactly what it sounds like. It's a letter that says, this is my plan, but it's not like a contract. It can change at any point. So I did put on there. My plan is to transfer to a new school in the district. Um, and then February 15th, it was so early. Our district had to sign our contracts so early, February 15th. I was like, there's so much time between now and the next school year. Um, but I guess, I don't know. They wanted to lock us in early. I don't know. Um, you can get out of it until like May with no consequences, but I went ahead and signed my contract and I was going ahead and like talking to all the people I know who know, you know, you know, those people who know all the people. So I was talking to them and just like, Hey, FYI, I'm looking, if you hear of anything, let me know. Um, actually the position I took, someone messaged me in January and was like, Hey, this job is open. You would be so great for it. And I was like, it's January. I can't leave. And by some miracle, it actually stayed open. Um, so I did, I interviewed at two different schools. The one that I got being 
one of them i was offered both positions and chose the one that i'm taking and i am so excited it's a steam school so if you have any like music steam lessons or like project based lessons hit me up over on instagram at becca's music group and let me know because i'm gonna need all the help i can get that's gonna be my big um thing i need to learn about next year but i'm really excited the vibe of the school just i think is gonna fit really well with me and i think i'm gonna fit really well with it so fingers crossed it works out you know every school has a very different personality and so i don't really know what i'm getting myself into but i'm hopeful that it works out we're also getting a new principal at the new school so i'm like okay so you know even as i like ask the art teacher and people questions i'm in the back of my head like things could change like everything could change because they're getting into principal so that's where i currently am i am i have been so sad leaving my kids it has been really hard i did one question i asked you all um actually on instagram so if you follow me on instagram stories you already knew this um but i was wondering you know do you tell your kids and when do you tell your kids so I did choose to tell my kids because I've been there for so long that I was like, you know, if you're in fourth grade and I have been your music teacher since kindergarten and you show up in fifth grade and I'm not there, like that feels really big. And so I tried to tell every class, I think I missed a couple, um, but I tried to tell every class, especially like the fourth graders and the third graders, and like the older kids. Um, and so I tried to tell every class, especially the older kids, and I told them on our last day together, um, which was really hard. There were some classes that I I cried while I told them. There were some classes that they cried while I told them. You know, some that like, we just everybody was crying. Um, but I wanted to let them know because I didn't want them to show up in the fall and be like, where's Miss Davis? So, you know, and I don't want them to think I abandoned them. So I, like I told them, you know, this is why I'm leaving. And I told them that I was going to school closer to my house. Um, so I could be home more and just, you know, stuff like that. So they're, so they're not confused and they're not worried and all that kind of stuff. So that was really, really tough. Um, it was a lot, it was a really rough last couple of weeks. I like, I feel like I just cried for the last three weeks of school. Um, but I'm also super pumped. It's been so bittersweet because I've been like so sad to leave, but so excited for my new position. I think it's going to be a good one. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, steam, all the good stuff. Was there anything else I was going to tell you? Let's see. Quick things. Yes, I told my kids I was leaving. Um, I have been to my new school. It has a, my current school has a giant music room. So I knew if I ever left or they rebuilt the building that that was gonna suffer. So my new school has a normal size music classroom. Like it's decent, it's fine. Um, they don't have a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna be writing all the grants looking for some xylophones. Um, but and i took as much as i possibly could with me obviously everything that belonged to the old school stayed at the old school but i had some grants that allowed me to take things to other schools in the district some grants that were classroom specific and i had to leave that stuff there um so always read the fine print on any grants that you get to make sure you can take things if you are leaving um let's see anything else i believe i'm going to be on a normal schedule so like it it's like one through it's like six day rotations um as opposed to currently which last year and last couple of years i had where i had the kids for a week at a time and then i didn't see them for a few weeks so that'll be a little bit different um i'm just trying to think of like quick questions that you might have um those are the big things there are apparently some performances that like everyone kind of chips in for so i'm interested to see how i'll help with that they have a drama teacher so they usually do a musical they didn't do one this year because they didn't have a music teacher since january um but i'm excited to fill that gap and do music i have done musicals in the past so i'm excited to do that and to have someone to help me with it because it's a lot of work doing those on your own um i will be teaching kindergarten i haven't taught kindergarten in a couple of years they took the kindergartners out of the school that i was at i'm not sure at what point by the way like at what point is it my former school and this my current school it's like i'm like in between it's like that's my old school and this is my new school but i don't have a current school i don't know it's confusing um but the school that i was at they have not had kindergarten in a few years or pre-k so i will be teaching kindergarten this year i'm gonna have to remember how to teach kindergarten 
this year <laughs> so you can look forward to that's why i never have kindergarten stuff on my channel because i don't teach kindergarten but i'm about to have kindergarten so i will hopefully have some ideas for you um yeah other than that it's gonna be really interesting just adjusting to a new school and trying to figure out you know new schedule and learn all the kids names and figure out what they know so i know what we're actually going to be able to do and just all that kind of stuff but it's an adventure i'm excited for I've been, I've been at the old school for six years, so I'm so ready for, I'm just, you know, I love my kids. I had a great time there, but I'm so ready for a new adventure. And that's really how I'm seeing it. Like my, this is my new adventure. This is the next chapter in my life. And so I'm excited and hopefully it, you know, works out well. We shall see. Um, there's always that element of you just don't know when you're going to a new school. So that is the current thing. I just wanted to let you know that because I do have a video about like packing up my classroom. Um, and so I just want to like tell you that I was transferring before like any of those kind of videos that might be confusing. So that is the story and that's all I've got. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.